if you want to get two CRM functions to talk to each other, serverless functions work really well. The way you do that is you have a function that you set up as a standalone function and you go to REST API and then you go in and you enable API key here. That works well. And normally what people will do is they will configure their the function to have arguments where they might have say parameter one and it would have a better name than that. But just say email address and then maybe contact data and you'd have all of these arguments. The problem with this approach is twofold. One is that it's a real pain to actually get it into the correct format. You have to, when you trigger the API, you have to do something like this. And then you also have to URL encode it. So it's something like zoho.encryption.url encode. And then you have to URL decode it on the other side. It's a, actually quite annoying and easy to, to run into bugs there. What I found is a better way, and it has another advantage as well, is to actually post your data as a, a map to the body of the request. The other advantage of it is you don't have to worry about request size limits. If you are using arguments, you can only have data that is up to, I think it's something like 2000 characters. If your data is above 2000 characters, then you'll run into issues when you try and execute the custom function and it just won't work. So overall, I think this approach is suboptimal the vast majority of the time. Instead, what I suggest is that you do it like this. First of all, you make a new argument called CRM API request. It has to be exactly like this with the same capitalization. And then you can get the body by doing CRM API request dot get body. And what that refers to is here, if I am setting parameters to be that to string, the body is basically this. And then I'm doing body.get parameter one. And now we'll see if I execute that, we can see the output of that function is parameter one, blah. So it's quite simple once you've done it. It's a lot less painful than the other approach. I really recommend doing it this way.